again, uh, uh, thank everybody for taking time out of their busy schedule uh, to be here uh, today. As you know, uh, I was elected to serve this community as mayor of the city of Macon in 2007. Uh, things were pretty bleak then, uh, and we even had a negative fund balance uh, at the city. Uh, then the Great Recession hit in 2008, and the national economy got much worse. Uh, however, uh, we had run our theme, or run our race, on the theme of working together for a change. Um, and together we managed to restore a, a positive fund balance and earn a clean audit and to restore hope and belief uh, in our community. I was re-elected in 2011 uh, and the prospects of consolidation grew brighter. Uh, in 2012, uh, the community voted for uh, consolidation and that cut my second term as mayor of the city of Macon short uh, by two years. After a great deal of reflection and prayer, Adele and I decided that I would run for mayor of the consolidated uh, government in 2013. Uh, I was elected and we have made good on the promises of consolidation. We have accomplished the consolidation of Macon and Bibb County with little disruption in the delivery of essential services. We have reduced the budget uh, from $165 million in fiscal year 2014 to $145 million in 2016. We have achieved equity and funding of local government, and we have worked closely with the Industrial Authority to bring new jobs and to improve the quality of life and standard of living for all of our citizens throughout Macon and Bibb County. And we have begun the process of reducing blight and revitalizing all of our neighborhoods. We have accomplished a great deal, uh, but the physical consolidation and building of a community of tomorrow is far from over. In fact, we need a plan to achieve 2020 vision. Uh, this next term is for the first four-year term for the Mayor and Consolidated Government Commission, uh, and the term will go from January of 2017 to December of 2020. So I am today announcing the kickoff of my campaign for re-election uh, for mayor of Macon and Bibb County and the formulation uh, of a vision for 2020. Macon and Bibb County are approaching their 200th anniversary. 2023 is the bicentennial year uh, for Macon. In honor of the 100th anniversary, the citizens of Macon built the city auditorium, which opened in 1923. What are we going to do to continue the forward progress of our great community? Well, I suggest, as I did the other day at the State of the Community Address, I suggest that we overcome pessimism with a can-do attitude and recognize that our strengths far outweigh our weaknesses. I suggest that we confront our weaknesses and find ways to promote early childhood education, wraparound services for poor and underprivileged families, and positive outcome opportunities for our youth that promote pride and keep hope alive. I suggest that we invest in our future, build the infrastructure that we need uh, to be competitive with an extension of the runways at Middle Georgia Regional Airport and Macon Downtown Airport, complete the Sardis Church, Sagota Road Connector, uh, and continue to make investments in blight removal and safer neighborhoods. Begin a 21st century transit system starting with an electric bus route from Middle Georgia State University on the west uh, to Geico on the east and continue to build the sustainable community of tomorrow. Most importantly, we have recognized the need uh, to work together to improve our community. Uh, we need to continue those efforts uh, and I pledge to you to have uh, a campaign that will unite this community and not divide it. We need to keep making progress. We have a community with great strengths, a vibrant urban core with nearby neighborhoods that foster a walkable urban environment, and we are building a community of tomorrow. We need to keep making progress. We can help build a prospering economy that attracts the employers of tomorrow. We are working with the Industrial Authority and Mercer Innovation Center, and we need to keep making progress. We are working with Central Georgia Technical College and the Bibb County Board of Education for an improved education system that prepares a workforce for tomorrow's economy. And we need to keep making progress. Uh, my experience and plan for our future make me the best qualified candidate to be the next mayor of Macon, Bibb County. And I am asking for your support 
to make that happen. I need your prayers. I am aware of the admonition of Psalms 127 that unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. So pray that I have God's wisdom and direction. I need your support. Yes, I need your financial support. And uh, if you are here today, I would appreciate it if you would go inside, sign the, the register so we'll know how to get back in touch with you and pick up one of the envelopes and fill it out and send in a contribution to help keep making progress. Uh, I would appreciate that. But also, I need your endorsement and communication to your family, your friends, and your neighbors that our election is currently scheduled for May the 24th in connection with the primary election. Our election is nonpartisan and will be at the bottom of both the Democratic and the Republican Party primary ballots. But this will be our final election, and I need your vote. I need you to turn out and get your friends, your neighbors, and everybody in your household to turn out and vote on May the 24th and tell them to be sure to go from the top of the ballot all the way to the bottom because uh, your local representative is going to be at the bottom of the ballot but uh, we can put Macon on, on the top of the pyramid. So together, with God's help, we will be successful in this effort. We will make a, make a wonderful community in which to live, learn, work, and play. Uh, we are building a, a community, not just for us today, and not just for our children, but even for our grandchildren and I'm delighted I'm delighted that my daughter brought my grandson down from Atlanta today to help emphasize the point that we are building a community for tomorrow for our children and our grandchildren and those that will follow thank you very much for coming let's have a great campaign let's unite making and make it a great place to live learn work and play thank you very much hey. So uh, come inside, see the campaign headquarters. We hope this will be a place that has a buzz of activity over the next four months. So come be with us, be part of the campaign for making progress. Thank you.